guys, how's it going and welcome to another video and today is another video with the Bugatti. Boo! Aleem, you're boring. But it's coming towards the end of the year and I thought what better way to catch up with my viewers, with my audience, with the people that share the love with me the most than washing my three million pound hypercar and having a chat with you. Washing a car is so therapeutic for me, I love it, it really is zen time. I know you're probably thinking that I'm really weird but it might be the same for you guys. So I thought the best thing to do would be to take this into the wash bay and today actually wash the Bugatti Chiron myself and also have a chat with you guys, catch up with you guys. We're coming towards the end of the year, the end of the decade. It's been a crazy 10 years. At the start of this decade, I was just about passing my driving test. <laughs> bought a VW Scirocco and it was my first car. Towards the end of the decade, alhamdulillah, I have my dream hypercar here, the Bugatti Chiron. It's incredible, God has blessed us so much and really I want to thank all you guys out there for showing so much support towards my business, Platinum Executive Travel, showing me so much support from the day I started for so many years. And I know the world's changing, I know I've got a new audience, I know I've got new subscribers and vloggers and I know times change, so it's a little bit hard to adjust and adapt to it, but we are going to be making lots of fresh, cool content for you guys next year. I know the young kids are hot on our heels, but you can't keep the old boy away. Let's get this car inside the wash bay and get cracking. So we've made it into the wash bay. I think it's best that we put this shutter down because it's not exactly dry and warm outside. I've just realized something's a little bit different in here. These two LED panels are not working. That's never, ever, ever happened before. Hmm, maybe I've jinxed it. <laughs> right, let's crack on with the wash. Right, so the key, this is the only thing I have. I'm gonna put that in my pocket so it doesn't get wet. Maybe give it a little. Just rinse it and look how clean it comes out. Look, what's this? I jet it. What's this? Dry as anything. <laughs> ha! So as we're coming to the end of the year, it's kind of weird to think that start of this decade, 2010. I didn't even have a driving license. That is crazy. The question, where do you see yourself in 10 years time, just means so much more now. Okay, that just sit on the car for a few minutes. Now, I don't know where to start with you guys. Where were we? 2012, I started making my YouTube videos in the park. My love for cars was shared with you guys. We're doing some reviews with some of the cars that I had at the time. We didn't even have this showroom. We were running the whole operation from the house. I worked so, so hard, day and night. Witnessed my father put in like endless hours into achieving these goals. And now we're here, not even seven years, with the mighty Bugatti Chiron. Right, so we jet it off. So 
we just jet off the car, get as much dirt as possible off it before we snow foam it and sponge it up. You know, people always ask the question, where do you see yourself in 10 years time? Well, if you had asked me that question in 2010, I couldn't quite exactly describe this. I didn't even imagine this. It just goes to show that God is the best of planners, and as long as you give your 110% into everything that you do, your chances of succeeding will be a lot better. This is probably a great time to kind of see what the Chiron would look like if I was to wrap it white. So let's get the snow foam out. Right, let's change the colour of this beast. You ready? Can I have a look through your camera if it looks good? Oh, what is your on? Is this the colour I choose for my next Bugatti? <laughs> That is layered beautifully. Now we let that to drip. I could stand here all day and watch soap drip off her. It's lovely. <laughs> so because this has got paint protection film on, um, we don't have to take too many precautions when we're washing it. Obviously the necessary precautions are making sure that you have a clean sponge, clean water. And here at Platinum we have all our separate sponges for separate cars and different buckets so everything is prepared well for me. I don't usually wash the cars before you guys think, oh Aleem does this often. I love washing cars but we have a fantastic team that maintain our cars hence why they always look on point, mashallah. So yeah, the soap is dripping off this now. I best give it a little sponge. And now we are bathing the Chiron. And you know what? It's when you wash a car, you really feel the lines. You really start to appreciate the curves and the beauty. I was really looking forward to washing the Chiron for that reason. It's just so much more personal. Now I know if you go onto Instagram, you'll know that there's another Bugatti Chiron owner, Jet Collector, who absolutely loves washing his Chiron. <laughs> and I don't blame him. Oh, look at that. I remember I used to wash cars on my driveway when Platinum was starting off and we didn't have the showroom and uh, we would wash all the Rolls Royces, the Ferraris, the Audi R8s, that sort of stuff. I didn't think I'd be washing a Bugatti one day, if I'm honest. <laughs> MashaAllah, beautiful, beautiful. Every panel, every panel, so much craftsmanship. Nice, big strokes, like so, covering the panels, beautiful, it's nice and red, you like that, the pivot, look at that, look at that motion, absolutely perfect, and here, it's great exercise as well, oh dear, feels like it's spine. Okay. All right. Going down the world's largest LED strip at the back. Wow. Look how big this grill is. Look at the carbon diffuser goes all the way down to the bottom. All right, let's give it another dip. Oh. Do the bottom half of the car towards the end, because normally that will carry most of the dirt. So it's best to sponge that last.
The color black, when I was selecting it from the Bugatti factory, they did warn me that it would be a very difficult color to look after because of how solid and how deep the finish is. But I wouldn't choose any other color, I love it. You know when you wash your kids and you're just like, no, don't get the soap, get into your eyes. That's what it's like. <laughs> now it's gone into its mouth, brushes teeth. If anybody comments saying you missed a bit, yeah? I need to somehow wash my hands. I'm just gonna secretly put them in here. Hopefully nobody knows. Let's wet it up, we'll let the soap just drip off real quick there. I didn't really know if I was gonna carry on with YouTube. To be honest, this year I got back into it. I've been doing it for a few years. Been taking breaks in between, similar to the Bugatti brand which took a lot of breaks in between. And it's sometimes you just gotta take a step back and you know just gather yourself before you move forward. And uh, I'm glad that I came back. And um, one of the main reasons why I wanted to come back was because I felt like I could provide you guys with some exclusive content, some content that other people cannot provide, such as what we're doing right now. So yeah, I'm very happy to, to be back on YouTube. I'm happy to be making content for you guys because I always thought that, you know, I don't need to do this. I didn't have to do this. I can just enjoy it all to myself and you know not bother with making videos every day or stressing out about editing and uploads and stuff but then in life what's the point of going through some of the best experiences without sharing them with other people inspiring people and showing them that you know it has been done it can be done anyway I should jet that off before that soap dries up like a steam room in here. I thought it would be quite easy for me to make a YouTube video whilst washing a car, but then I realized when I'm having the most fun, I'm normally very, very quiet. And right now, I'm really enjoying washing this, hence why I'm quite quiet when I'm doing it. Just really do like to zone into the moment, you know? It's a lot, it's a lot of late hours, a lot of hard work, a lot of sacrifices, and that's what people don't see. I know sometimes it can just seem like it's just a car, but this is a trophy. And it's been a very long time since a car has made me feel so special. I'm not gonna lie, shit was getting a bit boring. I think the hypercar scene is, is what's gonna reignite my love for the car game, you know? But then I'm also worried, where do we go after this? <laughs> Life's all about having fun, working hard, enjoying yourself, not taking things seriously. And you know, sometimes it may seem like as if I'm showing off or I'm gloating about what I have or whatever, but you know, rightly so. Because if you understand what goes on behind the scenes to obtain this sort of stuff, what you see on YouTube, what you see on Instagram, what you see on these socials are just the highlights of people's lives. We don't really like to show the lowlights. People don't really like to show the struggles because they're not very interesting. It's like newspaper articles. If they say something good about somebody, it doesn't really do as well as until they say something bad about somebody, you know? And most of the time it's bullshit anyway. I'm just very grateful that I have the best followers, the best audience in the world that have supported me so much so that even if I take a break from YouTube for two years or however long, they still come and show their support, they still come back. And that's why I strive to give you the best content possible. I know I'm a little rusty at the moment as well because I haven't done YouTube for a while. I'm also trying to figure out different formats and different ways to film. But we're gonna get there, we'll get there. I think I've got them into a nice rhythm now and uh, that's why I also need my followers help to kind of help me choose what type of videos you want to see. You know you're going to see the home renovations, the hypercar K videos, you're going to see you know, plenty of the Bugatti Chiron. I'm sure that some of you are actually sick of seeing the Bugatti, I didn't think that would ever be possible. But um, that's probably you know best time for you to unsubscribe to me now because I have another Bugatti on the way. So you imagine two Bugattis just shoved down your throat <laughs> every single time. That's going to be rather annoying. So if you find this annoying, unsubscribe because uh, inshallah I hope to be putting out a lot more hypercar content. It's incredible, it's incredible. Life is one big journey, you know, one big journey. 
So next year is the 15 year anniversary for PET. We started in 2006, it'll be 2021 will be the 15 year anniversary. And uh, we have a lot of plans inshallah for the business. Yeah, we have a lot of new additions on the way. Nothing that you haven't seen before, but we're just going to be doing a lot of volume. We're going to be coming in truckloads of cars and you know, you're going to be joining me on the journey throughout the whole thing. I want to make more videos with my father and with my team upstairs to show you the workings behind PET and how everything is put together because I think sometimes I make it look super easy, <laughs> which makes you guys think, what the hell does he do? <laughs> It's actually so satisfying, the jetting off a wheel, especially with all this sofa. Bro, I just got acid in my eye. Ugh. My eye's burning. So we're going to take it from the wet room into the dry area. Pop this open. for a bit so the heat from the car can just dry out the engine bay. Let's turn the lights off here, save the polar bears. So it's absolutely criminal to wash your car without drying it. So that's exactly what we're about to do. All jokes aside though guys, this year has been a tough year for a lot of people, including ourselves. COVID has really disrupted a lot of things, people's businesses, people's health, people's relationships. Old people can't meet with certain people, they're more vulnerable and all that sort of stuff. So if you've been affected by COVID, my prayers are with you. Just know that we are all in the same boat. So just hang on in there. We pray that the world will go back to normal, will resume normal activities or whatever you want to call it. But it's just, it is such a, a moving time because I think sometimes having things like the Bugatti, having cars delivered uh, during such a turbulent time kind of masks away how serious the whole situation is and i know a lot of people that um you know have come out of this uh, whole situation quite bad you know and you've got to be there for your friends and family you've got to be there for each other together we rise together we support each other together we we get back up on our feet it's never the end it's never it's never too late it's never game over remember when things happen they happen for the best and god has other plans for you so just have hope, have faith, and inshallah things will get better. So if you have been affected by COVID and whatever, I'm with you, my prayers are with you. I hope my videos can bring you a little smile, bring you some joy, but hang in there. We're gonna get out of it, we're gonna fight through it, and we're gonna come out the other end even stronger, inshallah. Inshallah, hopefully 2021 will mean that uh, weddings can resume. Hey! I don't even know where that was from. I haven't even got my glasses on, I can't see. The main source of income for my business was weddings. Now, weddings this year, as you know, because of COVID, they've been locked off. So next year, inshallah, if the weddings open up, just know we're geared. We're geared for a big party. I can't believe how many swirl marks this still are on the PPF. Isn't it? Whoa! 
My hands just disappeared inside. <laughs> Where does that even go to? So many secret holes. <laughs> so shiny. Buying a car is so much harder. <laughs> this just seems like it's never ending. It looks neat, no? So guys, um, there's a back window just there that we can't really reach into. So the best way to do it is to put a leather on the end of a broomstick. Oh no, I've lost the cloth. I've lost the chamois. It's not the way to do it, is it? How do you do this bit? I don't know how you're meant to do that. How are you meant to? Oh, let me just dry this part first. I think you just leave the engine running. So tired of crouching, might as well just use this seat. Are you gonna push me around in it? Yes. It's aero all over the car. It's incredible. Right, I think this can, uh, this can dry off nice and steady. How do I get towards the front? Can you give me a push? That'll do. Oh, look at this panel. This is so much easier to do. Okay. So guys, I hope you've been enjoying my content. There is a lot more coming. We're brainstorming. Uh, we hope to make some changes to the channel next year. All positive changes. I'm taking on board everything you guys are telling me about my channel. I know my audio sometimes plays up. I know we can improve in certain areas and uh, we're taking all of your constructive criticism on board. And that's what YouTube is all about, right? We're just uh, a bunch of normal people just making not so normal videos. <laughs> so I've been restricted to travel this year due to covid hence why we haven't been able to travel as much inshallah next year god willing all the travel bans are lifted and everything gets flowing again i hope to take this car to many different countries and make some incredible lord Elim style content you know with the weather that we have here especially in the winter i mean if you just want to show, turn around and show them it's difficult to kind of make content that looks similar to your favorite vloggers that are in America or in countries where there is fantastic weather all the time, great visibility, nice straight roads. If you live in the UK, you'll know that content creating can be a little bit of a struggle. So just bear with me. And I know a lot of content creators have faced this, but yeah, I'm blessed that I've been able to clickbait the shit out of you guys with this uh, Bugatti Chiron. But now I have your attention. I promise you, I'm going to take you on a very, very fun journey. Well, there we have it, guys. I normally like to leave my car running for about five minutes, 10 minutes after a wash, just to make sure all the water around the engine bay, etc., is evaporated. Same for the Lamborghinis, same for the Bugattis, same for the Rolls Royces. It's just something I've done since a young age. What can I say? We're coming to the end of the year. We're coming to the end of a decade. What a crazy 10 years it's been. Most of it's been documented online on my side. Uh, from where I used to review cars to start off with in the park, 
moving into vlogs that I did out in Pakistan, showing you guys a little bit more about my life, a little bit more about my personal side. And then I took a little break for a bit, but now I'm back and I'm back for the reason that I missed you guys. I really enjoy having you guys in my life and I really enjoy sharing the experiences and the privileges that God has given me in life. So uh, what's the point in having all of this and putting it away for not everybody to enjoy? So that's the main reason why I'm here. And inshallah, I hope to continue to be here for you guys in the next year, 2021. I know it's been a really, really tough year for some of you guys. And um, I know some people have also done well out of it. But this isn't a time to say, look, I'm doing well, I'm not doing so well. This is a time to come together to support small businesses, to support medium businesses, to support each other. Because we don't know what's going to happen in the next coming years or, or how everybody is going to react from it. But if we stick together, if we support one another, if we just spit the bitterness out, we will all be able to move forward and we will be able to reap our successes in the right ways. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I want to wish you all a very happy new year. Enjoy the end of this turbulent year and inshallah positive thoughts going into the new year have faith and god will be on your side guys i hope you've enjoyed today's video make sure you subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all in the new years for another video take it easy guys god bless keep smiling bye bye see that star we clean up after ourselves Forget this. <laughs>